Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had somebody email me a little problem. They're trying to produce this right here, but when they use the, I think they said the attract tool, his shapes, which are a six-sided polygon, are turned into the ovals. So this is how I would do it. I've already done it twice just to make sure I could do it, and I came up with this. Now, it's not exactly what that is, but I think that's what you're trying to get to. So here's the drawing he sent me. And I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And young man, there's a problem right there. Think about changing your duplicate to zero, zero. Because if you ever need to put it back exactly where it was, you can't do that. And Corel's is a quarter inch up and a quarter inch over. So control D and see it, put it right on top. So now we're just going to move the duplicate over. I am going to rotate this around a little bit. No, you really don't have to. I rotated it. Let's see what happens this time if I don't. With this subject grouped, you have to have it selected before you crop it. And we can crop out a part. And see what it did. Now let's just gonna go over there. Let's don't select it this time when we use the crop tool and look what happens. It takes it takes everything else off the page. So if you have it selected, let's make our duplicate again. And I'm gonna use this just in case there's two there and there's not. But with it selected, let's zoom in here a little bit. Then with this selected, you could use your crop tool and still keep everything on your page. And let's just make kind of a rectangle. Click on the inside, double click it, and you've got this shape. Now you could get rid of these uh, broken parts of the line by going to arrange and ungroup and ungroup it again and get rid of these broken lines and it would maybe save you in the future but for the sake of the video I'm not going to do that we'll just see what happens and you can reduce them later so group this back together control G grab your M envelope tool which is underneath your drop shadow flyout grab your envelope tool and just bring this down Bring this up, bring this over, bring this over, and voila, right click, fill, left click, no fill, and you've got that shape, they're stretched, and you could stretch it some more, but it kind of looks like that, and there's a lot of things you can do with it, I hope I got it right. And I want to just show everybody kind of a quick trick. I'm going to delete everything else on the page. And I know my fill is black. And if I wanted to get rid of these outlines all at one time, let's try this. Go up to Edit, Find and Replace, Find Objects, Begin New Search, Find Fills, Uniform Fills, New search or next, click on here or select that, click on here, get the eyedropper and bring it over to that black, X out, next, finish, find all, yes, X out. Well, it didn't work because that, those lines are actually part of a fill, um, or some of them are. You know what? Let's back up here. Let's um, let's ungroup this thing. It'd be a pretty interesting little fact. See if this works. Well, the objects aren't grouped. Okay, they're not grouped. Let's try this one more time. Edit, find and replace. 
find object, begin new search. We want to find fields. We want to find uniform fields. Black. I don't have to do the eyedropper because it's a specified color. It'll be, it'll be that black. Hit OK. Finish. No objects were found. I don't understand why it's not because it's a field. Let me zoom in here. There's a field. But anyway, the other way to do it, so I apologize for that, would just be to delete these other parts that you didn't need. And see that there's somehow that's a field. So that's why it didn't work the first time. But you could delete all these and be good to go with your design. And it'll look pretty cool. I hope. Let me know if this is what you were wanting or if it was not what you were wanting. I'd be really interested in what your end project's going to be. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.